Now I had to restart my Battle Royale run because as I told you all, I want to get a debut video with each and every single one of the bosses. So tomorrow we're going to do our best to get George Brett in a Battle Royale draft and then go ahead and debut him for you all as well. This time around, we got 99 overall Pedro Martinez. And although we are going to be using him in Battle Royale, Battle Royale is usually a good sign of whether or not he is going to be a good pitcher because if someone can hit off of him in All-Star difficulty and when i say hit off of him i mean they can absolutely destroy him then that doesn't mean that they can do it on hall of fame and legend but if he pitches pretty well on all-star difficulty then it usually means that he's gonna pitch even better on hall of fame and legend so that's the reason why using him on all-star difficulty and seeing whether or not he is good is going to be a good sign for him now all that i ask is for you guys to go ahead and hit that like button red subscribe button if you're new turn on the channel notifications we got a pretty good lineup we got kyle seager sam huff jesus aguilar nico goodrum mike Zremski, jonathan scope ryan mountcast and then Bo Bichette, and then some players on the bench with a decent bullpen as well featuring our oldest Chapman. Let's hop in, have Pedro start game one, and hopefully see him twice throughout this video. So we got Pedro Martinez not making the start in terms of being the home team, but we're playing at Field of Dreams. This is going to be interesting. That ball, I feel like it's so hard to read it. I don't know why. The background looks so white, and then that little barn, I feel like... It makes it even more distracting. Even though if it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to see anything. Base hit past the diving shortstop. Okay, we'll take a single here. Hopefully, we can string together a couple of more base hits. Get a run early. Oh, that curveball. Jesus Aguilar absolutely crushed it. If it doesn't jump... Oh, never mind. It bounced over. I was going to say, if it doesn't bounce over, we are going to get a run. Outside fastball right in the sweet spot too because you can barely see the ball right there. Get a perfect, perfect apple taco three-run bomb from Nico Goodrum. Mike Yesremski, I mean, he's been grounding out since like Matt Kemp's battle royale run. He still hasn't gotten a base hit from me. Jonathan Scope right at the right fielder, although good PCI placement, good timing as well. How in the world, right, did it already turn into nighttime? Great sinker dotted up right there for the first strikeout. First strikeout of Pedro's career. That might have been my fault. I mean, he seems to be a fastball killer. He was early on the previous two pitches. And we go ahead and give him a sinker inside. He absolutely turns on it. And then an easy fly ball right at the center fielder. One run is nothing, especially if you give it up to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in that card of his. I'm not gonna lie to you all, even though this might not be catchable, that curveball that Pedro has is actually filthy. Like it actually is a really good curveball. Good slider got him to pop up right to the second baseman. So initial thoughts on Pedro, he doesn't seem bad at all on all-star difficulty as of right now. You just got to mix your pitch as well. Ryan Mountcastle tried to get one right by Vlad, but Vlad, great defender. Just late on that one. They didn't really read it too well off the pitcher's hand, so it makes sense. We're going to let Pedro Martinez have an at-bat too. Pedro Martinez, hard hit ground ball, but right at the third baseman. Hey, 37 speed is not bad for a pitcher either. I'm telling you all right now, that curveball on Hall of Fame and Legend difficulty, especially because of the pitch speed differentials, that curveball is going to be dirty. And then he has great control of the sinker too. So those are two things that are going to be absolutely disgusting when it comes to Pedro. Yeah, I gave up that home run, but I feel like that was just my own, like, that was my problem. Even though he gets a base hit right there, that should never fall. But so far, I'm loving the card. I'll be honest. That curveball is something else. Like, I'm in love with that curveball. I'm in love with it. What a, oh my lord, I almost thought Jonathan Scope did his thing. I was about to say, what a play. Another weak base hit. So these base hits right here, yeah, he's giving them up, but I wouldn't even go ahead and say that they've been hard hit. 
great circle change. He has, I'm not sure how many pitches, 30 pitches, and now is when his stamina is kind of yellow. So he's most likely leaving after this inning, and hopefully we can get another gameplay video with Pedro Martinez, because so far, I'm not gonna lie to you all, he might be a lot better than we expect. Even though, yeah, his hit per nine isn't amazing, he still might be a lot better than we expect. Base hit, I mean, we should at least get rewarded somewhat for a swing like that especially after that single slash double he got with charlie blackman please drop of course not too much room nico is that another one don't think we got enough but it might leave all right to the deepest part of the ball field that's fine with me two run lead it's time for pedro to actually leave he got jammed, but don't let this stay f That is crazy. That's all I'm going to say to that one. That is crazy. Easy out. One down. One down. Another one. So, two of the same style of base hits right there. Which is a little unfortunate because I feel like he's gotten at least three. If he walks it off on me, I am going to be so sad. All right, let's go. That's a nice pop-up. One more. One more, and then we can continue this run. Strike three. That was a dot. Regardless, 1-0. Let's continue. Once again, we are away. I want Pedro to be rocking the jumbo shrimps, the white uniforms for home. But instead, we're away once again. At least this is a good minor league stadium. That's a well PCI ball from Kyle Seeger, but it's not gonna have enough. 80 power versus right-handers. If I would've gotten a little bit more on top of it, definitely would've at least been a double. That's gonna be Apotaco single. Great way to cut that from going all the way to the wall. Jesus Aguilar, surprisingly late. I felt like I had timed that circle change well. I was expecting a curveball, so I was expecting off speed already, and I thought I timed the loop. Nico, I mean, each time Pedro pitches, Nico Goodrum says, hey, let me go ahead and hit a two run home run or a home run in general and get a perfect, perfect out of it as well. Line out right at the shortstop. Let's see Pedro in action. Come on, Pedro, show me the fielding. Show me the. Never mind. That, that was. That was. I don't even know where Jesus Aguilar was standing, but that was a difficult play to say the least. Hey, it don't matter. Easy double play. Three pitches, two outs. I like it. I just feel like Pedro controls that sinker really well as we get ourselves out of that inning. Hopefully he doesn't get too tired because I want to get one more Battle Royale episode with him. Or gameplay video. You, you guys get what I'm saying. Like I want to get one more game with Pedro. Fastball, Ryan Mountcastle hit it well, but this is a big stadium. That's why I like it. It's a big stadium. Not a lot of things fly here. You have to really, really square it up. Inside sinker. I mean, we were late twice on sinkers this inning, so hey, you gotta time it up. So another strikeout for Pedro Martinez out here doing his thing. Easy out. That curveball even though we got perfect perfect like it was nowhere near where we intended it to go it's so weird i feel like pinpoint at times it just doesn't work even if you do get perfect perfects jam base hit the other way breaks pedro's no hitter if he's going to second base we have a chance of gunning him out come on mount castle how does that throw bounce in there you gotta have a cannon if you're playing left field well not necessarily he won all right, we get ourselves out of the inning. He didn't even give up a run. Let's see if he can pitch the third as well. I'm feeling comfortable with Pedro on the mound. Same thing he did last time. He does this time around. Another ground ball to the third baseman. Hard hit ground ball right to the first baseman. So we're hitting each side of the corners. Let's see if we can get a double or something here. gonna be a line out circle change that hung inside tried to drive it unfortunately lined out base hit right back up the middle i don't know if i should take pedro out i feel like 
I should just leave him. This is going to be his final game regardless, and then we're going to look for George Brett. So I should just leave him. He has a couple of lefties. This is a make or break, basically. That's crushed. That's crushed big time. Come on. Oh, I thought he made that play. That would have been so sexy. That would have been so sexy, man. Should be an out. If we had any other left fielder, I feel like that play at the wall would have been caught. Now another pop-up, and now we got 99 overall Mike Piazza to take care of for the final batter in Pedro Martinez's debut gameplay. He won! He won! Are you kidding me? Let's go, baby. Pedro Martinez gives up two back-to-back -back base hits. But it doesn't matter, he's able to pitch the complete game and get us that W. If you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, red subscribe button. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. In general, I think this Pedro Martinez card on the higher difficulties is going to be a lot better than what we expect, despite him having a low hit per nine attribute. But I definitely wish it would have been a little bit higher because those fluky hits that you guys are seeing right now, those are going to be happening a lot more on Hall of Fame and Legend just because the lower the hit per nine, the bigger the inner PCI is going to be, therefore allowing more fluky hits to just happen against him. Peace out.